Just a beautiful Easter Sunday. It's April the 9th, 2023. I'm at the Clay County Campground. Just an awesome day. And this is the first uh, site you see when you come off to the left off the main road. That says uh, Gibson Cove Campground. This is where I'm at. They have two different campgrounds. You got Gibson Cove and they got a wreck park area. And I'm going to tell you the difference. Show you those parks. But just a gorgeous day. Came in Friday evening. It was raining. Raining ever since. Stopped last night about 8 o'clock and just a gorgeous day this Easter Sunday. Spin around. That's the main road coming in. So this is the first view. You get to the park off the left. Man, I had to stop and show you this view. So this is just a step to the left a little bit and got a little closer. Look at that mountain range. I mean, man, those hills. Just absolutely gorgeous day, man. And like I said, it's been raining for two days ever since we've been here. So it was just like opened up to like a magnificent day. But check that out, man. I'm going to show you my campground. That's this uh, Gibson Cove. Okay, on the way in, uh, past Gibson Cove on your left, the next stop on the left is the Clay County Recreation Park. So it has boat launches, it has a playground here, and it has the uh, rec park uh, campground. So we're going to talk about that. I'm going to show you that in a few minutes. But... Like I said, a gorgeous day this Easter Sunday, April 9th. Man, you just can't beat being outside. You see those people right there in the background enjoying the paved walkway going all around the park. So it's just a beautiful day, beautiful park, man. You just got to come out here and experience it. But Clay County Recreation Park, going there. I'm going to show you the beautiful views, fishing and everything, pavilions. Awesome. Let's go. All right, just inside the park, it's got a big parking space. They got a ball field over there. Man, just an awesome day. Um, they have like three or four pavilions. I'm going to show you. See the ball field. Got a family there. Look like they're having a family gathering, an Easter egg hunt with the kids, but just an awesome day. So, okay, this is the Rec Park campground. And it's a total, of, it has two loops. One loop has 29 RV sites, the other has 33, so a total of 62 lots. Uh, Gibson Cove has a total of 40, so that's 102 campsites, okay? Let me give you a tip on North Carolina parks, state parks. If you put in your search criteria that you need full hookups, when I say full hookup, I'm talking about water, sewer, and electrical, it's going to show no availability on a lot of the parks. You have to take off sewer connections and a lot of reservations will open up these parks most state parks do not have sewer now they have a dump station and everything but you're not going to have sewer so make sure you click that take that off your search and a lot more availability will open up to you so let's go down there i'm going to show you some more of the park all right these loops a and b all right from what i understand uh talking to people the the rec park is mostly a uh, seasonal campsite so you see boats and stuff up here you see kind of the canopies and tents over the rvs because they're here for a while um it's no park range or anything on site so i can't really give you the specific details but i can tell you what they do have they have overflow parking over here so you see a lot of boats and stuff uh parked up there right there in the overflow camping area so it's it's uh definitely for some long-term type stuff one or two months or something like that all right, man, absolutely gorgeous. So straight ahead is the, uh, they got a big, nice pavilion with a fireplace. I'm going to show you that. They have a nice big campground, have a swimming area and all that. I'm going to show you that. But right now, we're going to look at Loop A, which has 29 sites. And we'll look at Loop B, which has uh, uh, 33 sites. All right. So a total of 62 sites down here. Let's get started. Okay, starting off, this is campsite one. And look at the views, man. Can't beat these views. So that's campsite one. And of course, right beside one is campsite two. So, um, man, look at the views you have here. This is State Park. Beautiful. All right, that's a nice level lot. A camper van right there, that's in site three. So we'll move around. And show you some of the sites. Good idea of these.
campsites here. That's that's the one that went bad right there. <laughs> so that's campsite four. But anyway, look at that view. All right, coming around. See the front. Now the thing about here, the rec park area versus Gibson Cove, these the it's not paved. So this is kind of gravel and mud. But on Gibson Cove, it's uh, actually uh, paved. So that's why I was saying mostly seasonal. I talked to a guy when the camp was out here, and that's what he said. So that's campsite six. You're not going to set that up for a weekend. Sorry, y'all. I'm keep showing y'all that view, but man, look at that lake, man. All right, swing back around. So it's not a bad site at the park. Every site has a uh, has a view of the lake. I don't know what. Um, I don't see a site number on that. Uh, I'll spin around, but look at your map. And you can probably determine it from that. I'll get you another waypoint on the other side. But okay, that's campsite eight right there. So whatever's across from, and that's nine. So whatever's across from there, that's your campsite. So you can get a bearing on where you're at. All right. So coming around, definitely kid friendly. I mean, nice sunny day, very little traffic through here. Kids like to play. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, site 12 right there, site 12, spin around, it's not a bad site here, all right. Like I said, it's been raining, it's just Sunday, it's about 2 o'clock, and it's been raining the whole time I got here Friday evening, so it's the first sunny day, so it's beautiful, man. I'm surprised it's not really muddy out here, because it was raining pretty good, man, pretty good, so... Uh, loop A continues around, loop A continues around that way, and loop B, 30 to 62, go this way. And they have, um, uh, bath houses everywhere, several of them, so we're going inside. I want to let you know how they are, but, um, everything is pretty clean on the other side, on Gibson Cove. Uh, very nice bath house, so let's go around, see. Get you some site maps. Maybe get you some site locations. Man, people grilling out. You can smell it. Uh, you know, it is Easter Sunday, so a lot of families out here, family gatherings. Let me give you another shot of that lake. Whew, that's nice. Nice, man. State park, right? So I think it was only like $35 a night. So this is campsite. Uh, I don't see the number. Sorry. Can't find the number on that one. But you see how it splits up? Goes to the left. So look on your map. I show at the beginning of the video. Because I don't see a site number on there. Let's see what we can do. Let's see, maybe. Nope. Okay, let's see if I can get one at the top of the hill. Right there, the one on the left. So I'm gonna get your site number on that. Oh, that's site 60 right there, right there in front of us. So that's 60. I wish I could tell you what that one was, but that's 60. You know, I just came off that split on that loop. So I'm gonna continue on around and we're gonna go around the lakeside. Okay, so follow me on the map and maybe you can pick up on your map where we at. Uh-oh, here comes the traffic. All right. Pull off to the side. Look at that lake. It's 
State Park, y'all. Okay, there's site 32 straight ahead. And so hopefully that's, we see what that is right there. That's 31, right there, the white one. To your right, that's 31. You got a campsite right here. That's campsite 30, which is really nice. Okay, spin on around. So that's 30, campsite 30. And that's 31. Man, can you imagine that view? <laughs> Look at that view they have. <laughs> All right, State Park. I'm gonna keep saying that because very reasonable rates. Um, it doesn't have sewer hookup, but it has a dump station here and several bathhouses. So, and I love taking a shower. If I can deal with it, you can. If you get views like this, and man, the beauty of this is uh, the Georgia border is only like 15 minutes away. This is how far west in North Carolina we are. Georgia border is only like 15 minutes away, 10 to 15 minutes. Tennessee border is like 30 minutes away. So we up in the hills. But look at that view. There's a dam straight across in the background. I'm going to get you some shots of that. Try to catch that later on. But beautiful. All the way across in the background is Gibson Cove over there. And that's where I'm at. I'll show you that. Man, awesome day. Gorgeous, man. Let's get you a campsite number right here. Okay, this is 33. Campsite 33. All right, let's come on around. And man, I was walking this last night. I couldn't believe, man, these views. These campsites are right here on the water, man. So let's go check it out, all right? Let's go check it out. Okay, this one's coming around. I don't see the number on that one, but you have to look at your map and maybe find it. Oh, that site. No, I think that's 35 across right there. But anyway, look at this one, 36. It's empty. No one's here at 36, but look at the one right there behind it, that Salem. Look at that view they have of the lake, man. All right. Let's see if I can get a site number on that one. And you can see the brown uh, mud going around the lake. It's kind of, lake levels are kind of down. And it was a boat stuck in the mud yesterday. Okay, this is site 38. No one's at. And I'm trying to get a site number 39 right there. On the, look, at, look, at, look at site 39. And look at that view 39 has. So look on your map. Look at that, man. See that boat? That one's stuck in the mud. The one... <laughs> The one in the foreground. But look at that view they have. All right, coming on around. I'm over there in, in the background in Gibson Cove. And these are, you know, crush and run uh, kind of stones. So the other side is paved. So I'm gonna see if I can get a site number. So there's an, another boat launch right there. So that's site 40. No one's at site 40. And let's come on around here. The site 41. 41. That's site 42. Look at the view. Now it's not that big of a site, so probably a smaller camper, 20 foot or something like that. 15, but less, definitely less than 20. Uh, that's 40. And that's campsite 43. I'm gonna just swing around and show you the view, all right? Beautiful, man. Just can you imagine the view right here in this uh, Rockwood? <laughs> all right, so spin it around. So look at your map, see where we at, all right? Thank you so much for watching my video. For privacy, for cooling, and for the best sleep ever in your RV, order our Blackout Easy RV window covers today. Okay, we just came out that cove, and we now we're going to head around, okay? Continue around the loop, all right?
Sorry, it might be in the sun a little bit. But this is what I was saying, kind of long term. You can see the boats out here, got the canopies. And so, well, I guess you can do it if you're going to stay a week. You know, it is Easter weekend, so maybe people, I know kids on spring break where I live, so. Sorry for bouncing around, I am walking. So they have a deck and everything on there, so. That's site, we'll get you a site number. That J Flight, site 47. Coming up the hill. Well, I'm getting a workout today. Let's get a sight number off there. I don't see it. Let's come on around. Let's see if I can get a sight number. Oh, that's 51 right there. So look at that view. Site 51. All right, we'll come on around. That's site 52 right there. 52 where that fifth wheel is. All right, come around the cove. We're gonna go around that bend. And we'll start around that way. So look at your map, get your bearings. Okay, we just came around that loop. That was site 52 on the background on the left. And this is site 53. So pick yourself up on the map, see where I'm at. We're just moving around. I still think I'm going around loop A, the loop side of A. So we'll come around. That's uh, site 55 right there. No more that. All right. Come around, that's a bath house up to your left. Oh, and the Wi-Fi is very good here. It's free Wi-Fi, no passcode, and it's very good at it. So that's a plus. All right, coming up the hill, you see bath house again on the left, and this is gonna bring us around to the first loop where it's split off at. Coming up the hill. All right. They got a dump station right there. Let's, they let you know it's no drinking water, only a dump station. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Bathhouse. Coming on around. And this is where we first started the loop. So get a. Look like that. It's been here a while. Site 57. Right there. Site 57. And, and that's site 58. Alright. So coming on around. And so that's where we first came into the loop right there. Okay. Okay. I need to correct myself. I got a correction. Alright. This is not a state park. It's a county park. And it's really not a county park. Um, TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority, built this lake. It's a dam, hydroelectricity and all that. And Clay County just manages it or runs it for them. So this is actually a TVA, lake or TVA property, Tennessee Valley Authority. Clay County, so it's not a state park, Clay County manages it, okay? Now, I told you these sites look like they're all long-term. They are. You can stay here seven months. So they have a lottery system where you can come in April 1st through... November the 1st, then you got to leave. Now, so you can stay up here as long as seven months, and there is a lottery system to get these sites. So, like these people right here, uh, they just kind of moved in. They're going to be here till uh, November. And so today, or this season, they're in this site, but with the lottery system, they might not be in this site. Next year, if they apply, they might be, if they get lucky and get it, they'll be somewhere else. So that explains the lottery, that explains the long-term the overflow park and all that. Now, Gibson Cove, where I'm at, the max you can stay there is two weeks. But here, with the lottery system, you can stay up here till seven months. All right, so we already did uh, Loop B. 
sites 30 through 62. We're going to continue around loop A, sites 14 to 29. All right, coming on around. Now, with that lottery system and the long season, that explains all the uh, overflow parking, the canopies and all that stuff, because you can stay here up to seven months from April 1st to November 1st, season in, in October. So that's site 15, no one's at. Uh, that's site 16. Uh, that'll explain why, too, some of the campers look like they're vacant. And that'll explain why you see a lot of these people look like they're just moving in. They got all kind of lawn furniture and everything they need for the season so man and you know it's april it's uh easter weekend so good long weekend to start moving all your stuff in so that explains a lot of this stuff so sorry for the misrepresentation but it is owned by the tva it's not a state park and the reason why i thought it was a state park because i registered on the state uh website so state park so coming on around get you some more site markers that's site 19 right there That's site 21. That's site 20 right there. Coming on around. Site 21. I think I already showed you that. I think I'm going to get run over here. But there's site 22. So look at your map. Put your site number. So that's great news. So. If you're watching this video are you interested you can come here now on the website i did notice a lottery system i was like why they got a lottery system the lottery system is if you want to stay for a long time you gotta put your bid in for a site over here on the rec park area now gibson cove where i'm at i'm gonna show you there's no lottery system it's only max you can stay is two weeks all right that's site 24 no one's at so coming on around so man you know what this is crazy so you can actually make this your <laughs> your summer home right you can get an allotment or win the lottery or put your name in the lottery system get a lot and you can set your rv up for seven months out here and make this your base camp to all the minis out here in the great in the smoky mountains which is very close i told you where we at so man this is awesome this is this is really a gem, and it's great for you to know this, okay? So, remember, no, uh, only problem is no sewer out here. So, I uh, see a sign for a pumping service, sewer pumping service. I'll come by and pump out your RV for you. So, or you take one of those uh, rolling containers that I don't like and never use and bring it out. That's site 27. But anyway, this is the loop. Loop A, finishing up. All right, let's look at the view. Okay, man, loop A, just the tip of it, and that's site 29. I just want to show you this view, right? So, look at that. And when I called uh, the campground, and you reserve these campsites on Reserve America, okay? But when I called the campground, talked to the park ranger, he kept telling me, you want to be in Gibson Cove, Gibson Cove. So I told him what days I want to stay. And I see why he kept putting me in Gibson Cove because this is for lottery system in it's long term. Okay, we're still in the wreck area. And you see there's a pavilion over there on the right. I'm gonna spin around and show you a beautiful view of this lake. Now they have, you know, fishing. I didn't see any restrictions of fishing. Um, Max, you have a beach over there to the left. I'm gonna go over there and show you that. They got a nice pavilion in the middle. I was telling you right there with a the fireplace. I'm going to show you that. And they have a nice playground. You can see the top of it right dead center now. I'm going to show you that. But what I want to show you right now is the Loop C, which is uh, tent camping. They got sites 1 through 14. And it's absolutely gorgeous, man. You're right here on the lake. And I uh, see the sign that says, no, this is not a picnic area. So tent camping only. So it's restricted to tent campers. They got nice pads. I didn't see any water or electricity, but do you really need it with that view? It's, uh, um, they got pads with, uh, you know, gravel, or whatever, nice level sites for you to camp on and uh, just the view of the lake. And I noticed that in most parks, though, the uh, tent sites have excellent views of the lake. So look at that. They go site 11 and right there is 12. And look at the ones. They got some right there on the lake, man. They go 
one down there. But it's an absolutely gorgeous day, man. Beautiful. So you don't need all that when you're right here on the lake, right? Look at that view. So these are the tent loop C, which is the camping area. It's in the rec park area, but man, absolutely gorgeous, man. Look at that. Look at that, man. Crazy impressive, right? Oh man, look at this view. Okay, this is right here at the pavilion. There's a swim area with the beach right there. And I was talking to one of the long-term residents and I thought they was kind of experiencing drought because you see the water level a little low. They said, no, nah, it's the TVA. Just pulling off too much water every now and then. But anyway, they got a nice playground. Can you imagine the backdrop to that playground right there? The lake spinning on around. This is absolutely gorgeous. So there's the pavilion with the fireplace and host events. So awesome. So now this completes the wreck side of the campground. We're going to head over to um, uh, the other side, which is uh, Gibson Cove. Okay, this is where I'm staying. I'm staying at Gibson Cove Campground. Now, this is the uh, one that has the paved uh, lots and everything's paved versus the wreck campground is all kind of uh, unpaved. All right. And this is for short term, you know, up to 14 days. Whereas over at the rec camp center campground, you can be uh, seven months with a lottery system. But anyway, so here's the view you have coming in. Super nice, man. They got a boat ramp launch, a boat launch and all that. Sorry, kind of walking and talking at the same time, holding the camera. Try not to get hit. So, to your left over there is dumpster and also the uh, dump station. So they have a dump station over here. Remember, none of these campsites have uh, sewer. So water and electrical have 50 amps. Where I'm at have 50 amp, 30 amp, and 20 amp uh, receptacles. Okay. So straight ahead where you see the lake is the boat ramp, boat launch. Okay. So this is the parking for the boat ramp or, you know, camp use. People out here walking, they have a nice walking trail. And let me spin around. So a nice walking trail going around the park. And it's a paved walking trail. And it picks up over there. Got to get out the way from the car. It picks up over there to your left and you head out to the dam. And I'll show you that as well. Okay, so here we are. Move further up now and you see where you need to go to to reserve a campsite all right so there's that dumpster and right behind it is the dump station okay and where you see those people walking there's a trail that goes all the way around and it leads to, a, to the dam you know this is a TVA Tennessee Valley Authority built this dam you know for hydroelectric power so you can walk all the way to the dam. Very nice outdoor activities here. If I was riding the bike, camping, and just a lot of activities. Be up here with this dog, walking the dog. That's where we, across the pond, across the water, is campgrounds, um, the wreck campground that we were earlier, A, B, and C for the tent sites. So, now this is Gibson. Gibson Cove. And these are the ones that's all paved. Okay, so I'll give you some site numbers. Okay, here's site number one. So look at your map. See where we at. That's site one. Right there on the right, that Pioneer is site three. Man, look at that lake, man. All right, the camp host is right there in site five. That's site two right there. Four, no one's at four. Man, look at that lake, man. County Park. <laughs> look at that. All right, so there's your camp host desk. Go site four right there. No one's at. 
camp post right there in five. That's why he got that good lot right there. There's 40 campsites here. It's in two loops. So campsite six right there. Campsite seven to your left, no one's at. That's campsite seven. That's campsite eight right there to the right. See, people have their boats up here. Like I said, it's uh, Easter Sunday. It's a lot of people had Friday off. Some people have celebrate Easter Monday. And a lot of schools are out this week, so... Great time to kick off the RV season. It's like nine right there. That's site 10, the Sonic. Now I made my reservations about three weeks ago and I got an excellent site, you'll see it. And it helped out a lot of people. You know, it was raining Friday, Saturday. A lot of people probably didn't show up because of the rain and weather. So, that's site 12. Nice site right there, site 12. That's site 13. Man, that's a nice pulling site right there, site 14. You know, at the back end, it's a really nice site, really big. Site 14. Turn around. Okay, this is site 16, 15, site 15. And look at the view of that lake. Man, that's awesome. That is a very nice site. <laughs> so remember that, site 15, all right? Well, none of these sites are bad sites. <laughs> None of them, so. Sorry, bouncing around, kind of, kind of walking. And site 17 right there. On the right, very nice site, nice and level. Site 19 right ahead. Look at that Super C right there on the right. That's nice. Okay, that's site 19. Nice and level, long, no one's at. Uh, that's site 18 right there. That Super C is in site 20. Now look at that. We'll go in site 19. I'm in site 19 right now. It's a very nice site. Nice and level, picnic table. Everyone has a, every site has a nice concrete picnic table. Look at that view. That's the dam over there to the left. We're gonna head that way. So this is site 19. Site 19. All right. So there's the bathhouse up the top. We're gonna go in there. That's site 21. 20. With that fifth wheel is site 22. Very nice site. Okay. Spin around. That's site 21 on the hill. Sorry, going into the sun, but all right, there you have it. That's the first loop of Gibson Cove. Hey, okay, heading up to the bathhouse. Let's see what they got. Okay. Um, there's no laundry facilities, there is no vending machine, no camp store, nothing. Now, so it's county park. Anyway, stainless steel, uh, bathroom enclosures. So, man, everything looks pretty clean and around. Pretty clean in here. So, bathroom clean. Got a nice shower. So, about all you can ask for, right? 
So it's pretty clean, it looks to be clean. No smells in here, just smells like outside, cool breeze blowing in, so. I'm not going in that side, that's the ladies. So I'm up there to the left. That's Gibson Cove, the second part of it. And this is where we just went through sites, you know, one through like 21, 22 right there. Okay, this is the second loop of Gibson Cove. This is where I'm located. All right, so let's take a tour. All right, let's get some site numbers, all right? Let's look at your map. I don't think it's a bad site out here as far as the views of the lake and just being so pretty. So that's site 24 right there. It's kind of small, but site 24 right here. All right, spinning around. Several people pulled out today. Man, look how beautiful that is. All right, several people pulled out today. So um, site 26 right here, site 26. Now, it wasn't a lot of people out here anyway to start with but all right now over here you can go maximum of two weeks okay that's site 25 which is a very nice site very long all right on the hill all right spin on around there goes blackout easy mobile straight ahead all right site 27 right here with that intrepid That's site 28. It's a very nice site. Kind of long as well. So site 28 is right here. Okay, like, all right. So going around that site 29. Man, that's a very nice site. They pulled out, had a fifth wheel. They pulled out about a, two hours ago. Man, that's a very nice site. Okay, remember that. 29, it's a very nice site right here. They've been here a while. They had to unhook and go dump. So they said they've been here a while. That's site 30. I don't know what that number is, but here's 40, which is a nice site, but it's kind of on the incline. There we go, right there. That's the blackout easy RV. See that American flag. Covering that entry door. Beautiful. All right. Coming around. That's my daughter's car. She's uh, in Atlanta. She drove up. Atlanta, Atlanta is only, Atlanta, Georgia is only a two hour drive from here. That's site 31, which is where that fifth wheel is. Site 31, very nice site. Okay. Right here is, so I'm in site 38. Very nice site. And I booked it about three weeks ago. So. That's a very nice site as well. Very long. So and I can I can back up even further in there if I wanted to. Very nice. So spin around. Alright. Now all the connections are very nice. The uh, water system is very nice. That's lot 33 right there. It, the 33 goes to this location right there. Alright. Come on around, coming up a hill, and over here, especially the second loop of the cove. They're kind of really private as far as the uh, sites. It has a little more privacy. So I come up this hill, but man, woo. So when I first pulled in, it was like six o'clock getting kind of sun going down. I had to pull around once past the site and come on back to it. And it's a pool up the hill. So this is site 37 which is kind of nestled back in the hills a little bit, the site 37. And that's, that's a nice lot, real long, deep. It's kind of private, it's kind of wooded. Can't really see the lake from there, but it's nice and private picnic table way back there. So if you're looking for something private, that's 32 right there where that setup is. Coming around, going into the sun, I apologize. To site 30, which is kind of short. All 
All right. That's 35 right there. You see the marker, lower right corner. That's 35, which is a nice sight. It's high up, uh, nice and flat, and it's long. So you can get a, definitely get a fifth wheel in there. That's sight 34, and it is super long as well. And flat, look how long that looks. Long and flat, okay? Sight 34. Come on around. It's a view of the lake. That's my unit right there in the background. Coming on around. Okay, this is site 36. And remember, I'm in site 38. So this is the last one we're gonna talk about today. And that's site 39. That's really nice. It's uh, kind of up on the hill a little bit. Got a nice view of the lake, almost private. Look, look how much room between you and the next campsite. And then that one way down over the hill. So this is a very kind of private site right here. When I say private, you're not up on a whole bunch of people, okay? That's a very good site. But anyway, that's the sites. All the sites here, 102 sites we reviewed. And um, hope it helps you out when you're planning, okay? Your trip here. All right, I'm on top of the dam. I showed you that when we was at one of the campgrounds. We was going to head here. But anyway, that peak right there to the left, guy just told me that's the tallest peak in Georgia. The tallest point in Georgia is called Brass town bald b-a-l-d right there in georgia but anyway i told you right here on the georgia border but man look at this view man of this lake coming on around coming on around just absolutely gorgeous day here Alright, man, it's crazy. So I'm here at this dam and um, just reading a lot about it. I told you I thought it was a state park, but it's actually owned by the TVA. And I uh, got a still photo, so hopefully you can read the information on here. But, man, it's crazy. This dam was built for, you know, controlling floods down the Tennessee Valley and all that. This river flows, this dam system goes all the way down to the Mississippi. But anyway, it's crazy. So just looking at that and then spinning around, I see some of the... This is like one of the turbines that goes in there. I'll show you the actual dam part. But it's not, when I looked at it, I was thought this is an actually small uh, hydroelectric plant, but it's actually, you know, more so to control floods and navigation and stuff on the river. So hopefully you can read the, uh, the still I put in here about this project or how the TVA controls the waters and stuff, the rivers. Um, but man, it's crazy. Okay, here we are at the dam and campground i told you is right it's right here we at the dam's campground and right here is um georgia and right there is south carolina and then just a little bit uh, uh west is we it's tennessee so we're right here at the tennessee we at the georgia and south carolina border and of course we're right here in north carolina so that's crazy we in the westernmost like point of uh north carolina here at this dam in this park all right, so at this big lake, right, and um, and I was coming up here, I said, wow, man, this, this can't be all the hydroelectric power they generate with this little system right here. I said, it can't be, but then I realized, I read the placard down there, and it's part of the TVA, um, Tennessee Valley Authority uh, hydroelectric system, and it's not just for producing electricity, it's for maintaining the water levels and all the waterways, 
and also flood control down in Tennessee Valley and all that stuff, lower states. So it's just not for producing power, it's controlled flooding and also to keep the uh, the, uh, nav the the river's navigational depth up so, you know, merchants and and commodities can flow down them. So it's a three, three, uh, three prong purpose there, electricity, flood control, and to maintain the water level of the, uh, keep the rivers level up for navigation. So it's crazy, man. I was like, that is a small hydroelectric plant, but I see why. So it, you saw how many different electric plants they had in the TVA system, but man, it's pretty neat. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of Clay County Park Campground. Tim Stanley, RVN with Tim out. See you on the other side.